the effects of knife crime. It's everlasting. It's devastating. And it, it's more present now than, than ever before. And, and crime groups are, are seeing the vulnerabilities with young people in our communities and exploiting them. You know, committing crimes, anti-social behaviour, and unfortunately, the very top ends of the spectrum is a death. They don't want to be involved in this sort of stuff. Sometimes they just don't know how to get out of it. If we ever feel let down, we always feel like we're in a city that can say, actually, we're going to do something about this ourselves. People will stand up and take notice when three football clubs like Liverpool, Tramia and Everton are coming together. We combine football engagement with important workshops which cover topics such as county lines, gangs and knife crime. The programmes that we try and embed in, in the schools, try and educate them and empower them to make better choices and, and move them away from negative peer groups. And then, you know, we work closely with the Royal Hospital, the lead surgeons in the Royal, to sort of educate young people on, on the knife savers, first aid training. We see firsthand the truly devastating effects of knife crime. The wave of despair that spreads in its wake through local communities, schools, families and friends. We hear the heartbreaking screams of parents upon hearing the news their child won't be coming home. These horrific injuries are completely preventable. Don't carry knives. It's never okay for a young person or for anyone to carry a knife. If they've got people that they look up to in the community reminding them we can make the streets safer again within Merseyside. And it's really good that the clubs are highlighting this and raising awareness and working with us. The other thing that's really important for us is finding people diversionary pathways, so something to do other than hanging on the streets. Ourselves, Everton and Tramia, they're everywhere in every community throughout the whole of Merseyside, so get involved in football sessions all the way until like nine o'clock of an evening, Monday to Friday. There's activity going on in parks on a Saturday and a Sunday that you can get involved in with the families. We're doing one-to-one -one mentoring with some young people. You'll see us in your school uh, really soon, or you'll see us there now delivering these activities. Come in and, and have some fun, play the PlayStation, play the Xbox. We'll do loads of engaging workshops, and they'll also go out and do their own bit in the community. They make friends, they boost the CV, and this gives them greater aspirations in life. You've just got to give them more and more opportunities, positive pathways that the, the foundation tries to, tries to offer within the programme. It shouldn't just be about football, it should be getting out of there and doing the bit for the community because clubs should play their part. You feel like you need to do something because it's your city, you want to do something. And I think that's what people of Liverpool are like. We're a city that looks after each other. One knife incident does not just affect one person, it affects everyone. The whole community and family members. This is our city and enough is enough. Let's live our lives without knives. Look after each other and make a difference. Get involved in your community and make a difference.